Damon. Why don't you pass the time by playing a little solitaire? War, conspiracy, hypnosis, and a deck of cards all conspire to turn a good man into an assassin in this psychological thriller from director John Frankenheimer. I'm Jade Anderson, and today we're watching The Manchurian Candidate. When Raymond Shaw comes home from the Korean War, he's awarded the Congressional Medal of Honor. What he doesn't know is what really happened when he and his platoon were taken prisoner, what's been done to him, and what's come back with him. The Manchurian Candidate is the Cold War era film. Its genius lies in its ideology. It's a political satire wrapped in a psychological thriller. It's a character study of the good soldier, the unwitting pawn, and the demagogue. Frank Sinatra plays Major Bennett Marco, the soldier at the heart of the film. We identify with him as he struggles to solve the mysteries of his past and to reshape his future. Lawrence Harvey plays Shaw, the pawn in the game. He's not unlike Hamlet. He's a young man without a father whose mother just remarried a would-be king. Raymond is the real victim in this conspiracy and the least aware. Angela Lansbury is Raymond's mother. She is the Machiavellian power behind her senator husband's political witch hunt. In her quest for power, she's willing to sacrifice anything, including her only son. James Gregory, as the Lincoln-obsessed Senator Iceland, is easily mistaken for a buffoon. But his character is a satiric take on Senator Joseph McCarthy, a man who did irreparable damage to many innocent people's lives during the Red Scare of the 1950s. Frankenheimer began his career in television and uses a lot of techniques he learned from filming live performances. In The Mandarin Candidate, he uses wide-angled lenses and often lets scenes play out between characters in a master shot. The deep focus gives us the feeling that we're right there next to the characters and adds to the documentary feel. In the film's famous dream sequence, the camera pans 360 degrees without a cut. At first, we see ladies at a garden party. Then, as the camera moves in a circle, it is revealed that the ladies are actually officials from Russia and China. And the lecturer is a Chinese psychologist explaining the effects of brainwashing. Frankenheimer achieved this effect by having duplicate sets built on tracks. As the camera panned, one set was pulled out while the new set was pushed into place. The actors ran off of one set and onto the other, letting the scene continue in one long take. This film reflects some of our greatest fears. What happens when the McCarthy's of the world make us believe their rhetoric? What happens when you trade freedom for security? The Manchurian Candidate brings up questions that are still relevant today. The Manchurian Candidate was remade by director Jonathan Demme in 2004. It was well made and had a great cast, but was this a movie that needed to be remade? Follow us on Twitter or leave us a comment and let us know what you think. I'm Jade Anderson, watch this film, and I'll see you next time.